So next we will see another topic electrostatics particularly this Coulomb's law we will see how to do this. I will read out the question. A simple pendulum consists of a small sphere of mass m suspended by a thread of length l. The sphere carries a positive charge q. The pendulum is placed in a uniform electric field of strength E directed vertically downwards. Find the period of oscillation of the pendulum due to the electrostatic force acting on the sphere neglecting the effect of gravitational force. So, simple pendulum, you might have come across pendulum oscillating in a gravitational field, but this situation is different. You totally forget about the gravitational effect, meaning do not consider the weight, but you may consider the mass, not the weight alone, because gravitational force means mg, you neglect it. But mass is there which you have to consider. Now when uh, see if you pull the bob to one side, this is positively charged Q and the electric field is acting vertically downward. A positive charge will always experience a force along the direction of the electric field. So this is Q carrying a charge Q therefore the electric force Q is in the downward direction. If uh, gravitational force is to be considered, then you will have to consider mg plus Q e. If you say if you are given the instruction that do not neglect uh, the gravitational force or nothing is mentioned regarding the gravitational force, you may have to consider Q e plus mg as a net vertically acting downward force. But here you are asked to simply ignore the gravitational force. So only consider the electrostatic force QE. Due to that you find out the time period of oscillation. And of course, let us say if this is theta, this is Q here, this force is QE. You resolve this QE into two components. This also will be theta this will be QE cos theta, this force will be QE sin theta. QE cos theta and the tension will balance each other. QE sin theta serves as the restoring force. Therefore, the restoring force numerically is, this is a restoring force FR. QE sin theta, but sin theta can be taken to be x by L. If you consider this to be x, this is L. Note that theta is very small. Therefore, sin theta can be written as theta, which will be x by L. So, the restoring force is QE, sin theta is x by L, L length of the pendulum. So, x by L. This is numerically the restoring force. If you want you can introduce a negative symbol and explain why that negative symbol is put in the expression or otherwise you can simply say the magnitude of the restoring force is this. Okay? Yeah. So the restoring force FR is Kx dx. numerically. So, f is kx, if you compare it with f is equal to ks, kx, this will be force constant similar to k, okay. Therefore, the time period of oscillation t is equal to 2 pi into root m by k, 2 pi root m by this k you know q e by l, q e by l which will go to the numerator, time period of oscillation. t is equal to 2 pi into root of ml divided by q e, 
okay suppose you want to compare your answer or if you want to verify your answer in a rough way this is electric force you substitute as a gravitational force so mg will come here m and m will cancel so t is equal to 2 pi into root l by j your original or the formula with which you are familiar is coming here okay okay therefore time period of oscillation t is equal to 2 pi into square root of ml by qe please note that i am explaining the solution just for the subject part of it so if it has to be the answer for any exam maybe you will have to give more explanation or some explanation may not be required at all so that is your decision or judgment but i my aim is here just to make you understand how to do the sum how to bring out various concepts in some places i may give i may give you more explanation so you will have to know what all you have to write for an answer okay right thank you